enjoying a love affair with their cars. Most drivers wouldn't be without theirs, yet at the same time we're all becoming more environmentally aware. So the idea of being able to fill up with a fuel which can apparently cut harmful emissions by half certainly seemed worth investigating. So we wanted to put the new fuel to the test and to do that we had to get a reading beforehand. So we brought Channel Television's oldest van down to DVS for testing. Even though it's old, it's come up with pretty good results so far. Hydrocarbon levels of around 50. But when we fill it up with the new X-Mile fuel, we'd expect that to be reduced by around 50%. That result is unexpectedly low for an older vehicle and typically levels of emissions would be higher. But DVS assure us the test was accurate. So the next step is to visit the only X-Mile pump in the British Isles to fill our van. But what exactly is going into the tank? I think to put it in the simplest terms, it's the cleanest burning fuel that can be bought on the market today. It burns in a very, very clean way leaving very, very little waste during the combustion process. As a result of that, less smoke. Well, we've just had the tank filled up with fuel. It's about half full with x mile and half full with the petrol that was already in there. What we're going to do now is motor on down to DVS and find out what the results are. Back at DVS, and it's time to see whether we really have cleaned up our act. The principle behind the new fuel isn't new. It's been around for 20 years, but it's seen an explosion in its popularity recently across parts of Europe. So are we about to see the reason why? OK, well, Chris has just handed me the new figures. We've been for a 25-minute drive. Now, the figures probably would have been more dramatic if we'd gone for a longer trip out in the van, but already we've seen a 30% drop in hydrocarbons, down from 50 to around 35. We've also seen a fall in the levels of carbon monoxide. The pollution coming out of the exhaust is reduced by, at the moment, we're just seeing 30%. But if the vehicle was to be used for another hour, another hour and a half, it would be down to 50% reduction in emissions, purely because the enzyme is helping the fuel to ignite properly. Exmile has already asked the Planning and Environment Minister, Freddie Cohen, to support the new fuel and has now decided to make Jersey the centre of its business operations.